happy Easter! My name is Dawn Harris and I am the mother of seven beautiful children and married to my handsome husband George Harris. And we are Harris Party of Nine plus Grandpa. Hi Wesley! This is Wesley. This is one of our little guys. He's our youngest little boy and we love him and he gives us so many hugs all the time. Today we're going to make our Harris yummy buttermilk pancakes. A lot of people request what do the Harris's cook? How do the Harris's cook it? How much food do the Never. Harris's make? And I thought this might be a good start to a show for the Harris's because we can share some of our uh, ideas and excitement for our large family. So today what we're gonna make is, again, the Harris Yummy Buttermilk, pan buttermilk Pancakes. What we started out with in here is six cups of flour, all-purpose flour, 14 teaspoons, yes, that's 14, one, four teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, although I like to add in quite a bit more. I put about a third of a cup because I like them nice and sweet for the kids. We're gonna use two tablespoons of vanilla extract, five cups of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk, I love this trick. What I do is, camera over here, if you don't have buttermilk, if you don't keep it on hand, I like to keep it on hand, but every once in a while we run out. Again, Harris Party of Nine, we have, let's see, two, four, six, eight gallons of milk right now in our refrigerator. That's pretty standard for us. Um, but if we run out of buttermilk, all you have to do is one cup of whole milk or any type of milk that you have to one tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. So a one-to-one -one ratio, one cup of milk to one tablespoon of vinegar. You let it sit and it's gonna start curdling. Let me show you kind of what this looks like on camera. You start seeing how it almost looks a little bit like, I don't, I wouldn't call it really cottage cheese. It doesn't have that consistency, but it's definitely clumping. And this is absolutely delicious in the pancakes. So let's get back to our ingredients. So we have the five cups of buttermilk, four eggs, here's our eggs, one, two, three, four. You can use any kind of eggs. My dream would be to have a chicken in the backyard and be able to have our own eggs. Maybe someday that will happen. And then if we come over here to the stove, 12, that's 12, one, two, 12 tablespoons of butter. So it's a stick and a half of melted butter over here that we're gonna pour in. So the next thing that we do is we mixed up the six cups of all-purpose flour, the 14 teaspoons of baking powder, the two tablespoons I'm sorry, the two teaspoons of salt and the third cup of sugar. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a well in the middle. So you can just kind of go like this. That's kind of like a well, like something in the center. Oh, this flour is so nice. We, we ordered a 50 pound bag of flour, 50, five zero. And we're going through it quite quickly. So we, um, in this large bowl, we're gonna sift together our flour, our baking powder, our salt and our sugar. Um, and I really think, Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, you can go play with the eggs. I really like sifting the ingredients. Um, I really do think it makes a difference, so I'm sorry. Let's back up. Let's not do the well yet. We're gonna sift it, and it goes pretty fast. You kind of just scoop it. Some people like to use a separate bowl. With seven children, I'm not that particular. If we get most of it sifted, I think we're in good shape. So I'm just gonna kind of... So again, a little tip from a mom who has seven. So what is everybody doing for Easter today? We're in our COVID-19 quarantine. So the Easter bunny came, we have eggs all over our yard. We're going to do a little egg hunt. And I can tell you how we do that. Our Easter bunny that comes to our house does it a little bit differently than I think some people. Um, so this is coming together nicely. This is sifting. And again, sifting is really just getting all of the dry ingredients work together and it'll give us a really nice consistency once we're done. Okay, so now we're ready for the well in the middle. So now we're gonna take our, um, we're gonna take our milk. We're gonna start out with three cups. We're not gonna put all six cups yet and we're gonna pour those in. Because again, we made this recipe ourselves. We have to make most recipes ourselves because we need such large quantities and always doubling and tripling and quadrupling the recipe doesn't always give you the consistency that you want. So we'll start with three of the buttermilk that we added. 
And next we're going to get our eggs in there. We'll do three. I love cooking with the kids. I'm not cooking with them now, but they all can tell you that I really enjoy cooking with them. I probably should be cracking these into a separate container and then pouring them in because if we get shells in there. But again, mom of seven, what's a little shell? Maybe a little extra calcium. So there's our eggs go in. We're gonna get our vanilla. I always keep at least three to four containers of vanilla on hand with our large family. It's really important. We go through quite a bit of it. So we're gonna measure out two tablespoons. Yes, two tablespoons. I know that's a lot, but. And since we're quarantining and we're running out of supplies and we don't wanna hoard them, then we're gonna do just a little short of that and it'll still taste really good today. And that will be a-okay. But under normal circumstances, we would want to make sure that we put all two tablespoons in. And then this is a really neat treat. You take the melted butter and that is, acts as your oil. And you bring it over here. I love these large cast iron pans. They're really handy. Our Georgia one day, we were at a really neat cooking store locally in town and she really wanted this small one. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the money, you know, Paris party of nine, we have to watch what we spend our money on. And this was one of the, my favorite splurges. Just a little large cast iron pan. And it's great for heating up things. It okay. so good. Yeah, we'll start getting to smell all that. So now that we added in the milk, eggs, vanilla, and butter, all we're gonna do is blend this. We're not gonna mix it like crazy. Hi, sweetheart. And we're gonna just blend this until it is incorporated. We don't wanna over mix. Dad, can you get the griddle out for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Wait, can I get some frozen blueberries from the fridge? Yeah, just a minute. Let's, let's just finish showing what this looks like so people can get an idea. It's looking good. You're not quite folding it, but almost. Almost like a fold. A fold is more like this, and we actually are mixing it because we want to get those eggs broken up but it definitely isn't, you know, putting it in the mixer, going full blast. Okay, so then um, I think we probably can use just a little bit more milk. And again, Harris Party of Nine Mom doesn't fuss. So this is probably, yeah, this is about four ounces. So um, we're going to add that in. Again, that's getting us to that, that five cup total and we were at four. And then we'll just incorporate this and I think these will be beautiful. I'll show you how they look when they get onto the pan. What we'll do is we'll use, um, I like a tool for this. Um, what we'll do is we'll get our butter, which I love putting butter on the, pan, the um, griddle. Can we show this griddle? This griddle is a fun little story. I've had this griddle for, let's see, our oldest is 17. And I bought it when she was in kindergarten. Um, I bought it when she was at uh, Lincoln Elementary in kindergarten. I remember I was so excited because I got chosen to be a room parent to help with the Lincoln pan Pancake Day. I'm just going to turn this on to about 300. Can help me put these on? Yeah, I'll help you in just a second or daddy can help you. And, um, and so the only thing is in order to be a room parent, this isn't hot yet guys. You would never put your hands straight on like this. This is... I just turned it on. So after this, we're only going to use a spatula. You would, you would want to put, put your... Um, and you always use a, a plastic uh, for the nonstick surfaces so you don't get that into your food or anything. Um, and so I got chosen. The only thing is you needed to have a griddle, a pancake griddle, to be able to be a room parent at the Lincoln uh, Pancake Day. Um, uh, and so I was like, oh my gosh, where do I get it? What do I do? Well, I went to Walmart and bought this for, I think, $19.99, and I've had it all these years later. We cook bacon on here, pancakes, grilled cheese. So you can tell the, the dough is a little lumpy, which is good. That'll keep all those yummy little air pockets from all the baking powder that we use. 
and we'll we do love real maple syrup in our house we we're big supporters of that um <clears throat> however right now because of the shortages and whatnot we have just regular i think from the dollar store syrup right now so so we're just gonna let these cook for literally i mean just a few seconds while we're doing that i'm gonna grab a plate so we have something to stack it on. A lot of times I just put a big, huge stack of plates next to the pancakes like this. And then our kids come and get what they want. But let me show you something. I'm really excited about something that I just thought of. I'm going to take this chair over here. Mom, can I go get some eggs? You can, honey, but not too many because I want to watch you. Come on, here. Oh, my goodness. You got a yellow one. Are you Mom, following me? Mom, do I get a bucket? Already, and then we'll come over here. They're not quite ready to be flipped. You'll start seeing a little bit of browning over the edge. Let's see if you can get this on film, Georgia. Right around the, they're starting to smell really good, and I can almost hear. I can hear them sizzle. They're not really browning yet. Though. Yeah, they're not not yet. So we're gonna we're just gonna give them another minute. So we're gonna use our beautiful bunny plates. And we're going to have a plate that we can stack these on. Usually what I was saying is I just put a big stack of plates out and the kids just grab one and they go as quick as they come off the griddle. I can't, I don't even have time to stack them. Um, the kids know how to put their own butter on. They know how to put their own syrup on. We'll get some regular, just old fashioned kind of uh, syrup that comes out of a, a container, not from the actual maple tree. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna see how, I'm hearing a little bit of sizzling. I'm liking that. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go like this. Ooh, that looks nice. And then we're just gonna let these cook. I'm gonna get the maple syrup. And what I'm gonna give you a little um, insight on with our large family. Let's see, I think we need to go get a syrup. We need to go get a syrup in the pantry. You can follow me. A lot of people also want to know what it's like in a, in a pantry with a big family. Here's some of um, the examples. Here's two syrups. I know that if I run out, I have enough because we could go through one syrup in one sitting. So again, this is not hoarding. This is just the amount that we go through on a regular basis. There might basis. be an open one in the fridge too. Yeah, we'll have to look. Oh, those are looking beautiful. This is perfect. These that has a little bit and the texture is beautiful. It's nice and fluffy. It has a little bit of golden on the outside. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. And so let me get back to the egg just so while we're letting these cook. So here at the Harris home, um, the, hair, the Easter Bunny who comes here says, Dear Harris children, you are good kids. Find all of the eggs, then get the prize. Be nice to each other. Not until all the eggs are found will you get your treats. Love the Easter Bunny. So when you find all the eggs, ask your parents for your treat. So I know some Easter bunnies put treats in the eggs individually, and some, oh, thank you for your help, honey. Some, um, you know, have candy in there or coins or little trinkety prizes. But our Easter bunny puts out a couple hundred eggs for all the children. They collect them in their baskets, and when they're done, they show us, and, um, and then they get their treat after that. So... Um, again, a big family. I think the Easter Bunny realized that it was better for uh, for them to do it that way. So now these are these are pretty much done. So we're going to take one off here so we can show everybody what it's like. We're going to take these. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just take a, a butter knife. I love these knives that we have, or these butter knives. These are from a good friend of my mom and dad's. My mom sadly passed away um, a year ago, but um, her good friend from England was not needing these and gave these to us. And you can see they're a little bit wider. I just love, I just think it's so fun. There's something really like, I don't know. They just spread so much more. Yeah, they spread so much more. And 
So getting the butter, I'm just gonna take a look a little bit. I always let the kids do this themselves and I just put that on. You can kind of hear the crispiness. Can you hear that over the top? But the inside is... Oh, wow, Charlie, that's... I picked up a lot. I picked up a lot. Okay. I picked up... We'll get that. We're going to... I got three. I want someone to guys. try I on... got three, too. Okay, we'll do that in just a minute, really, guys. Charlie. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put just a little bit of syrup on it. I don't want the syrup... No, Charlie actually the has more eggs down there. Of the pancake. Okay, well, Mommy will be out there in just a minute, guys. Okay, so here's our pancake. We're going to open into it. You can see a light, crispy on the outside. I'm going to leave my stuff out. See how fluffy it is on the inside. Can you see that? Big head. It's like spongy and fluffy. Can we see that? Okay. And now we're gonna try it. Ready? Mm. Mm. You can taste the crunchiness on the outside. It's like fluffy on the inside. There's a hint of sugar. You can taste the sugar. Um, the vanilla. You can get the vanilla. It's a really good vanilla flavor. I think they're just delicious, Seven. delicious. Does Seven. everybody agree that mom's buttermilk pancakes are delicious? Yes. Don't know how to try this one. Here, <laughs> Charlie, I know they are. Charlie's gonna try it too. As you can see, he does, everybody does get their own thing at our house. The kids are very self-sufficient when you have seven uh, children or a big family. Um, everybody kind of learns how to do things at a really young age. Um, because if I was being called all the time, mom, 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 to do things for everybody. Charlie, let us know how they are. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Show Georgia. Really good. Really good. Yeah. So that's it today. Have a wonderful, happy Easter, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this, um, this little, um, I don't know, presentation, cast, whatever you want to call it, with the Harris Party at Nine. If you like us, please press the like button down below, and we'll have more episodes so that we can show you more about living with the Harris Party at Nine. Thank you.